Books. They hold one of the most important things in the world. Knowledge, entertainment, and Fifty Shades of Grey. Today we went to an enjoyer of books to see their thoughts on books. I learned how to read, I think around preschool, maybe a little younger than that, I don't know though. One of the first books that I've read that stood out to me was The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I read that January through May and it was a good book. It's about this girl who like made this deal with the devil and she is forced to live forever, but she no one remembers her. So she's been kind of living for like a good 300 years and it gets to around 2019, I think, 2009 or 2019. And uh, she meets someone who remembers her name. So that's, it progresses from there. One book I would not read again is Pride and Prejudice. I would, it was mind-numbingly boring for some reason. And it's like, oh yeah, it's classic. You should read it, but no. Don't read the classics, they f***ing suck. <laughs> hey, dear pants. Crucification's a bit harsh. Any books that I would recommend are, um, I'd probably recommend Little Women for some people. I'd probably recommend the whole Harry Potter franchise because I really enjoyed that. And uh, again, the book I said earlier, The Invisible Life, Addie LaRue, it was a good book. So I'd recommend those.